Born in Bedford Springs, Pennsylvania, 1849. George Washington Williams was a Civil War soldier, Baptist minister, politician, lawyer, journalist, and writer on African American history. After the Civil War, Williams went to Mexico to join the Republican Army, fighting to overthrow the Emperor Maximilian. Commissioned as a lieutenant, he returned to the U.S. in 1867. While in the U.S., he continued his military career for another five years. Assigned to the 10th Infantry, he served in the Indian Territory, where he was wounded in the lung in 1868 and later discharged. As a civilian, he decided to go back to school. He had a short stint at Howard University, but in 1870, he began his studies at the Newton Theological Institution near Boston, Massachusetts. He was the first African-American to graduate in 1874. Ordained as a pastor, he had the support from Frederick Douglass and William Lloyd Garrison. And he also founded The Commoner, a weekly journal confused with the William Jennings Bryan Commoner who had come later. He was nominated by President Chester A. Arthur as Minister President and Council General to Haiti and Santo Domingo in 1885, but he wasn't confirmed. He earned his honorary doctorate degree at Simmons College of Kentucky, an historical black college. But after all this accomplishments, his greatest contribution was soon to come. He wrote and published histories about African Americans in the United States. In 1882, he published The History of the Negro Race in America, 1619 to 1880. It was considered the first overall history of African Americans. After he would write the histories of the United States Colored Troops, African Americans' participation in the American Civil War, he also wrote The History of the Negro Troops in the War Rebellion in 1887. In 1889, he turns his interest to Europe and Africa. That year, he travels to Europe writing articles for S.S. McClure's Associated Literary Press. He is then given permission to have an informal interview with King Leopold II of Belgium. He became interested in traveling in the Congo Free State, which Leopold owned. President Benjamin Harrison supports him in his travel to the Congos in 1890. Arriving there, Williams was completely appalled seeing Leopold's private militia enforcing rubber production by the Congolese. He's also discovered that the rumors were true. Harsh abuse against the workers and their families, including mutilation and a high rate of death. July 18th of that same year, while at Stanley Falls, Williams wrote an open letter to the Serene Majesty, Leopold II, King of Belgium, and the sovereign of the independent state of Congo. In that letter, he condemned the brutal and inhumane treatment of the Congolese by the Europeans. He mentioned how Henry M. Stanley, who was sent by Leopold to the Congos, and how he is mistreating the Congolese. Williams appealed to the international community of the day to call and create and international commissions to investigate the charges herein preferred in the name of the humanity. Avoiding the attempt to be discredited by the king, he continued to speak out against the mistreatment of the Congolese.
While traveling back from Africa, he died in Blackpool, England, August 2, 1891. In 1975, a tombstone was placed at his grave by an American historian. The tombstone states, Afro-American historian. George Washington Williams Memorial Room was named in his honor on the first floor of the Ohio State House. Legislator commissioned a documentary to George Washington Williams, a portrait of faith, courage, and wisdom, hosted by the Ohio State House Capitol Square Review and Advisory Board. Samuel Jackson portrayed him in the 2016 film, The Legend of Tarzan.